here's my demonstration of removing the valves, the valve springs, and everything else from a 1.8 Ford Z-Tech silver top head. This head is exactly the same as a 2 liter head. So it is, as you can see, I have a valve spring compressor. This is a laser number 3523, although this just has to be large, and with a collet adapter. This is a 25mm and 30mm collet adapter. As you can see, I've already moved, removed some inlet valves. Here's the valve, the valve spring, the top hatter, or otherwise called retainer, and the split collets, these two small things down here. So it is, so I'll be removing this valve along with valve springs on the other side. So I'll take my valve spring um, compressor and put this part here on the underside there. I'll just have to move this camera now to there to show you what I'm doing. So I'll take my valve spring compressor and I put the underside bit on the valve. I'll take the collet release and put it over the top hat. As you can see, the valve spring or the valve end just coming through the top hat. And then I get it all level and I try not to score the walls and either adjust it up or down if I can get it, and then I just squish down. Is the idea. Now it's very tight. And that was a bit rough, but that's the way it works. As you can see, this um, releases the collets from the middle, so it does. Um, I don't think there's actually enough clearance there, so I'll go to the back end to this wee bit. And as you can see, it's on the end of the valve, and I'll screw it up. Now it's handy having the side of the compressor against this, because I've learned earlier, put a wee ding on the side of my head, so I did, but it one over. So if you keep it against the side, there's nowhere to fall to. So I'll screw this up and I'll show you the other end as I go. And this will hopefully release the collets a wee bit better. And then I'll take my screwdriver with its magnetic end. And this will take the collets off, as you can see. And the second one always seems to be a wee bugger. Like that, like so. I'll take this off now. This is where you have to be careful. It's handy sort of to slack it a wee bit by a couple of turns. Just so it's not so rough whenever it's being released. Because you don't want to score the walls. So I'll take that off. I'm run out of video time on my camera. So move the top hat, the spring, push the valve through to the other side. Make sure that there's no burrs on the end of the valve because you don't want to damage your seals or anything. And um, as you can see, one valve removed from the inlet. And that is the end of my show.